Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Eric Brummett from Mythic Life and today I wanted to share with you some insights I've been having about friendship. Um, this is something that is so important for us to explore in our lives. Friendship is a beautiful positive bonding with like-minded individuals that we share common interests with. We want to spend time together. We have similar hobbies. We support each other's positivity and growth and show up for each other. These are the people that are willing to come over and help you pack your house when you're going to move or will participate in things that are happening in your life and you in their life. They're the ones that you enjoy spending time with. A friend is not something separate from your family necessarily. You can have a friendship with a sibling, with a parent, with a child, with your significant other. Sarah and I are dear friends. We love spending time together. We're comrades and business partners. We are also lovers too. So you can have a friendship in any relationship. I have friendships with other healers. I'm friends with some of my students and clients. And they are people that are dear to me and dear to my heart. And what is their character? What is their quality like? It's not just that everybody is enlightened. Like we're all on this path of growth and we can come together and support each other. But sometimes intuitives have a difficult time with friendships. We grow up feeling other people so much that the social aspects can feel awkward. Developing friendships is something that you have to learn to do. It's not something we're just naturally always gifted at. And intuitives feel and hear so deeply that we care so deeply that sometimes we get over invested and get absorbed into other people's lives. And healers and intuitives sometimes start to collect people that need our help. We draw to us the people that are in crises, that are in hardship, that have drama always happening, which sucks us dry, which can get into our energy field and make us not feel good. And this is not your inner circle. These are not the highest potential friendships that you can be having. A true friend is somebody that you can be honest with, that can be honest with you, and that you can share things with each other about. So in this coming month's Soul Guide, we're going to explore this. Who is in your inner circle? What friendships do you have there? What can you talk about with your friends and what can't you talk about with your friends? Are you having to avoid things? Do you feel consumed by their life because you intuitively feel them? And growing up, maybe there was too much competition within friendship, too much dominance of other people's strong personalities that you intuitively felt and heard too much, that made you shut down and isolate, that made you feel alone and go inward instead of outward. You know, that extroverted quality is not something that's always the easiest for healers. And so as we work through these histories, as we address these, Ill, these elements, it will clear up in our life and we will start to manifest more trustworthy people, more empowered people, more people that are open in their awareness, in their emotional intelligence, and that can hold us up together and we can move forward together and have a beautiful bonding of camaraderie and develop amazing communities. So this is what I wish for all of us, and I'm so excited to share this journey with all of you. Many of you are my friends, and I'm happy to say so, and I'll see you all soon. Thank you for joining.